Well, hello guys. It's Dawn again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. Well, guys, you know the holidays are coming and we're going to be cooking up a lot of delicious meals for the holidays. But as I put in my community post, this is one of my meals that I call eat this and get out my kitchen meals. These are meals that I make for my family while I'm preparing my holiday dinner. Because I don't know about y'all, but my family, they're hovering around in the kitchen. Can I taste this? It's just getting on my last nerve. <laughs> so I make meals like this to hold them over while I'm cooking my holiday meals. So what we're going to do today, guys, we are going to make a delicious chicken pot pie. And we're doing this the flavors with a twist way, so it's going to have a lot of flavor. In front of you are all the delicious ingredients that I'm going to be using. First of all, when it comes to the chicken, I use this Purdue, and it's called Shortcuts, and this is a grilled chicken. And I mean to tell you guys, this chicken is moist, it's tender, and it comes in the ch chicken strips like you see on the package. But what I do, I take the chip the um, strips and I cut them down smaller. And this, and I have two packs of this. This is an eight ounce pack. Two packs, once you slice it down, will yield three cups of chicken. And this is what you have here. Okay, it's delicious. And I have um, back here. I have some be I mean, chicken broth. What I did. I took two cups of water and I put tea, two teaspoons of this better than bouillon roasted chicken base in there. And I have some poultry seasoning and I'm only using a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning right here. Okay. Now I have some Parmesan cheese. I'm using a quarter cup of that and I have it right here. I have a cup of heavy cream. I have um, one fourth cup of um, celery. It was only one stock that I cut up. I chopped it. Same thing with the onion, a quarter cup of onion. I have five garlic, garlic cloves. I cannot talk today. Five garlic cloves that I put in my press. And um, I have some broccoli. Now what I did with the broccoli, I had some frozen broccoli for reds. I took seven of them, put them in the microwave for one minute, and then I just cut them up. You know, just the little florette parts of it. I didn't put any stock in it. Okay. I have a bag of mixed vegetables. I have two Pillsbury pie crust. You know, this is my go-to. <laughs> I have some butter, salt, and pepper back here. So I think I did cover everything. Oh, and in this dish, I have some flour. We're going to make our base with that for the pot pie. So guys, what I'm going to do is get my skillet heated up. And we're going to mix all of this together. It doesn't take long at all. And we're going to put this pot pie in the oven. We're going to bake it on um, 400 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put in one-third cup of that butter. And basically, what one-third cup is, is a half a stick of butter and a tablespoon of butter. Okay? So, I'm just cutting that up. And we're going to saute our veggies in that. Okay. Here we go. Now just let the butter melt. Then we're going to add our onion and our celery. Throw that garlic in. Mmm, yum. Okay. This doesn't take long, guys. Once you do the pie mixture, what we're doing now, just put it in the crust and let it bake. This is just how easy and delicious this pot pie is going to be. So let that finish melting. Okay, guys, our butter is melted. So what we're going to do now, we are going to put in the onion. 
and the celery. And we just want to let these go for like a minute. For two. Okay. And let these simmer, saute in there just for about a minute. Okay, guys, now this has been going like a minute. And what I'm going to do is add some of that flour in. Add the flour in. And stir that around. And this is one third cup of flour. Mmm, yum. Let's go. Let it cook off some of that flour flavor. This is going to be delicious. Mmm, yum. Okay. Now let that go for a few minutes. Keep stirring it. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding the chicken broth. Mmm, yum. See how to stick it in, and that's what you want. Ah. You just keep stirring it around that way, you ain't got to worry about lumps or anything, it'll even out. And that's two cups of chicken broth I have in here. Then we're going to add in that delicious garlic. And it's going to really smell up the place. Okay. Let me get that garlic. And put it in here. Alrighty. And I still have some more chicken broth, the rest of it. I still have a little bit more. Let this bubble for a minute here. Mmm, it's gonna be delicious, guys. I always like to see how thick it's gonna get. There we go. I'll put the rest of the chicken broth in. Okay. Mmm, yeah. Now what we're going to do is add a little salt and pepper to this. And that poultry seasoning. So, I'm going to take the poultry seasoning and add that in. And this is only a half a teaspoon. But it's going to flavor this pot pie so well. Mmm, yeah. Just stir it in. Now we're going to add our pepper and our salt. And you don't have to add a lot of salt because for one simple reason, you have that chicken broth and that can be a little salty. You don't want to over salt it. Okay, now let me get my black pepper. Okay. Mmm, yum. I like this ground black pepper. It's so fresh. Okay. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to add in our heavy cream. 
Okay, see how nice and thick that's getting. Mmm, yeah, this is gonna be delicious, guys. Now add the heavy cream in. And that's one cup. And we're just gonna let this simmer until it gets a little thick. Okay, guys, we are bubbling away here. Now what we're gonna do is add that Parmesan cheese. And stir that in. Mmm, yummy. And now we're going to add our frozen vegetables. Which, they're fall. But get a bag of good mixed vegetables and frozen and just leave them sitting out on the counter until they fall out. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to saute them, cook them first or anything. Now... All we have to do is add our broccoli. Mmm, yummy. This is going to be so good, guys. Like I said, just cut up, chop up enough. Just so you can see it. You don't want to over broccoli. Now, guess what, guys? All we have to do is add our chicken and let that go and then we'll taste it for um seasoning. Mmm, yeah, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. I can't wait. Taste it for salt and pepper. And like I said, this chicken is seasoned so well. It's like you could taste the salt and everything in it. When they grilled it, they really seasoned this chicken. That's why I said, guys... Buy you some of those Purdue shortcuts, and they're even good for chicken salad and everything. Mmm, yum. Look at that. This is going to be our Popeye. Whoa, and I got stuff flattened down the skillet, but no problem. Okay. There's another piece of chicken in the bowl. Might as well throw him in here. Now, let me taste this, and we'll see how it tastes. Mmm, yum. I just want to taste it for salt and pepper. Mm. Oh, guys. That is so good. I'll put just a little bit more salt. It's not that much coming out of this grinder at the time. Okay. And maybe just a pinch more black pepper. Okay. I'll taste this again. I think that's it. And then we're going to put this in our pie shell. This is going to be so delicious, guys. Don't that look good? Look how nice and creamy that is. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to let this simmer for two minutes. And then we're putting it in our pie shell. Okay, guys. This has been simmering for two minutes. And I'm going to turn it off. And um, we're going to put it in our crust. Look how delicious that looks. Now that's a chicken pot pie. Mmm, yum. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now what I did, um, I let this cool off for like 15 minutes. That way it's easier to handle. And you see how the sauce is thickening even more. And this is what you want. And once it bakes, it's going to be nice and creamy. Because it's creamy now. It's delicious. Now, what I have here, I have like a 10-inch pie plate. And it's a deep dish one. That's what you want to put your pot pies in. Because a regular pie plate is um, it's going to be too thin. Now, what you want to do is just spoon the um, stuff, the um, filling into your pie plate. Let me pick this up and do it that way. It's easier and it's faster. I'll be here five minutes dipping. <laughs> You're like, why don't you just dump that stuff in there? Okay, look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to eat this. I taste it, and I mean to tell you, it had enough salt, pepper, 
You could taste that poultry seasoning. That better than bouillon chicken bakes. Oh my God. That stuff seasons your food so much better than that regular chicken broth. Okay. Now let me move this over. And see that was just enough. Now if you would have had the smaller pie plates. Not the deep dish. It, you would have had too much filling. Okay. Now. What I have here is the other crust, and I'm just going to unroll this. Long as you have enough up here and you can tuck the top crust under, that's what you want. Okay. Let's see how that fits. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is see the two crusts here. I'm just going to fold this one under. That way, and it'll seal it once I pinch it. Okay. I'm not the best at this, but I make this. <laughs> Let me start pinching this. I don't want it to unroll. Okay. Now I'll just do it like this. At all that fancy stuff. Okay. Fold this under. And that way it seals it with the bottom crust. And you don't have to worry about it bubbling over too much. And we're going to also slit the top of the pie crust. The vent it. Okay. And I have the oven. It's already preheated at 400 degrees. And we're going to put this in there about 35, maybe 40 minutes. But I'll tell you the exact time when it comes out. And also, do you check on your pot pie? <laughs> I check on everything when it's baking. I just don't go by um, the temperatures. And that's like, um, I was cooking, what was I cooking one day? Some chicken or something. I said, well, let me just roast it. And I'm going to use the meat thermometer and do it 165 to 170, like all them chefs be saying. That stuff was not done on the inside. <laughs> I said, you know what? See, I'm old school, and so was my mom. She, we did not use thermometers. We know when food is done. So, y'all can do you on that, but I'm telling you, some of them people will have you eating raw food, and that's not good. You know, it might be one temperature on one part of the meat, and then another on the other. Just cook it till you know it's done, and that's how you have to do it. That's how I do all my meats. I, do, I cannot even cook with a thermometer. Another thing I don't cook with is a timer. You know, because while my stuff is in the oven, I'll be sitting down watching TV or soap opera or something. Next thing you know, timer going off. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> so it's like, I can't cook with that. Okay, now, that looks good. And what I didn't tell you guys, I took one egg and I beat it and I put a tablespoon of water in here. And what we're going to do is just brush the top of the pie to make it glisten. Yeah, we are. Okay. I do this with all my pies. Okay. Don't have to be a lot. Just enough to brush over the whole pie. And then we're going to slit the top of this baby. And put it in the oven. But I am going to put this on a sheet pan. Always put stuff like this on a sheet pan, even casserole dishes. That way, I mean, it's easy to clean up. It's not, I'd rather clean the sheet pan than have to clean this out of my oven. Even though my oven's self-cleaning, it's still, but when it burns off, it smells so bad. Okay. There we go, guys. Now, I'm going to take a um, knife and slit the top of this crust. This is going to be delicious. 
Okay, guys, I have my sheet pan here. And I'm just going to put the pie on it like that. There we go. Now, you take your knife, and I'll just make four slits. This way, the pot pie will vent. Always just do it like this. Okay. Here we go. Look at that, guys. And that's all to it. Now let's put this baby in the oven, 400 degrees. And we're going to check it in about 35 minutes. But usually it's going to go about 40. But I'll check it at 35 and see how it looks. See you then. Okay, guys, I am back. And look at our delicious pot pie. Mmm, yum. You can see some of the juice going through the slit that I put there. It didn't cook over. You could tell by the pan. It's beautiful, guys. I left this in there for exactly 40 minutes. But what I did, I opened the oven and looked at the pot pie after 20 minutes. And I seen the crust was starting to brown around there. And I said, well, I don't want it to get too dark. I just took a sheet of foil. And, guys, I didn't even tuck it or nothing. I just put it in the oven like that and laid it right over. Just like that. I didn't have to crimp the edges or anything. And look at it. It's all nice in one uniform color of brown. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to let this cool off for about 15 minutes before I cut it. I'll see you then. Well, hi, guys. I'm back. And I let, it, I let our pot pie cool off for like 15 minutes. And look at it, guys. Look at that. Mmm. Yum. And I mean to tell you, it's nice and creamy. Let's give it a taste. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, this is delicious. I have never tasted a pot pie this good before. Let me take a little bit of crust. Look at that. And I mean, it's creamy. Oh my God. This is the best pot pie ever. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Guys, you have to make this. I'm going to tell you. This is delicious. I would not kid you on this. The seasoning, the creaminess of the sauce, the vegetables. Look at this creaminess. Look at that. You can see it. Mm -mm -mm. This is delicious. And I'm telling you, that chicken is the way to go. It's juicy. It's not dry. It just melts in your mouth. You have to make this for your family, guys. Go to favoriteswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you will be notified of all the recipes that I upload. And this is from my collection of eat this and get out of my kitchen. Because... These are meals that I make for my family for the holidays be while I'm making my holiday meal. Because like I said, they hover around in the kitchen trying to taste this, trying to eat that. And I'm funny. If my meal is not ready, you're not eating part of it. <laughs> you're going to wait until I complete my whole meal. So I make dishes like this so... They, it can coat their stomach until I get the holiday meal made. So, guys, try this recipe for yourself. This is a chicken pot pie, the flavors with a twist way. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.